Mother Nature is a wild and unpredictable force. With the current environmental trends, it is expected that these unpredictable storms will only get more severe. Our problem space is in the aftermath of one of these events, specifically floods and hurricanes. What do you do when you and your family are trapped in your house without power or communication? You know that being rescued in a timely manner is your only hope, but how can you get the attention of those who can save you? Cue the ER box. From this point, we began to research the problem space to gather more context of what disaster preparedness looks like. In Japan, there are many different um, preparedness drills carried out um, in workplaces and in schools in order to prepare for earthquakes. Uh, when I was there, for instance, uh, we would have to um, practice, for example, uh, hiding under our desks in the event of an earthquake. Uh, we would have to um, know where our local evacuation uh, center was. Our first prototype consisted of a cardboard box acting as our rugged all-in-one case, a plastic bag symbolizing our balloon, an Algene bottle symbolizing our helium canister, and a laptop charger taking the place of our battery cell. With the initial prototype, we really wanted to fine-tune the assembly and instructions associated with our system. We conducted a behavioral analysis where we timed the users attempting to follow our instructions and assemble the system. But does this box have to be, it looks like the box has to be plugged into the wall. So is there an app? Is there a phone app? Well, if you have all your components in place ahead of an event, you know, you want something that people can set up, you want it to be able to last at mm -hmm. least seven days, mm -hmm. because people should assume that they're kind of on their own for these seven days. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of gives you a timeline for, um, you know, it seems like what you're trying to accomplish here is to have. For our second prototype, we 3D printed the individual components of the ER box system and used real materials to increase the fidelity greatly. Additionally, we wireframed a sample of our control app. For our final prototype, we built out a functioning iPhone application to show the real interactions a user would experience. 